Hey guys, now in today's video, we're taking a look at a brand new set of open ear earbuds. And these are from Basis. These are the Basis Eli series or the open ear series. They're sport earbuds that have incredible comfort, as you can see right here, and are effortless to wear. That's all I can say. So if you're looking for earbuds that put no pressure in your ear, but that rest on the cartilage of your ear, as you can see here, that have great bass and good battery life, then you'll want to check out this video. We're going to do an EB command style audio test. We'll do call quality tests and we'll see how well they perform. Let's go ahead and check them out. Now from a spec perspective, now from a battery perspective, you can expect 7.5 hours of battery life. And with the case, it's up to 30. Now, one of the cool things about it is that it does have quick charge technology, which means that if you charge these for 10 minutes, you're going to get two hours of additional battery life. Now these are open ear earbuds, which mean they don't go inside of your ear. They rest on your ear. Now they do have a 20 degree directional transmission. Uh, they're air conduction, right? So they're not touching your side of your face. They're not bone conduction, but they kind of push audio into your ear. And I have to say that bass, mids, and highs are there, are present. You actually can enjoy the bass, but given this design, other people are gonna be able to hear it as well. They do have four ENC mics that are gonna have AI noise canceling for calls. You're looking at 16.2 drivers for these, right? And they do have low latency, like 0 0.06 low latency, which means that you're gonna have a great transmission when it comes to listening to audio. And you know what? You could possibly even use them if you're into gaming on your phone, you can do that as well. Bluetooth 5.3, and what I like about these is that they're multi-point, which means you can have them on your phone, on your tablet, on your laptop, and your phone, and if a call comes in, what will happen is it will switch. So if I'm watching a movie and a call comes in, I'm watching a movie on my tablet, it will switch to my phone automatically. Love, love, love that feature. It does come with a smart app, and the smart app has configuration options where you can actually do firmware upgrades. And then what you can also do is adjust the EQ, change the, ba the bass, you know, what you favor. I'm a bass guy, so I like in the bass mode, so I actually have mine set for bass, and you can hear how they sound. Now, they do have an IPX4 rating, and what you're going to see also is that it comes with a little cable that makes them incredibly versatile, especially if you're doing high-intensity workouts and you're concerned about something falling off. You can actually connect them uh, to each other and it makes them even more secure. But in my case, they've been great to wear. Now in the box, you're going to receive your earbuds in this large case. And you can see that in a couple seconds. You do have a USB-C charging cable and you have this lanyard. Uh, this is not designed to, to, I would say, transfer power from one side to the other. Uh, there's no electrical components here. Basically, this is so that you can wrap it around the back of your neck. So like this would go like in this fashion in the back, and then it connects on the sides. And that is to give you some additional stability, or if you're concerned that you're doing some intense workout, you're running, and you wanna just make sure that if they were to come off, they were to drop in front of you, then you would be able to use this guy right here. Um, not something that I've uh, been using. Now the earbuds, and we'll move this over to the side, the earbuds do come in a rather large case. I wish they were smaller. Uh, it does have a USB-C charging port. It also has a pairing button as well. And when you open this case, they do stay in the case, so they are not going to fall out. Uh, they are magnetically guided, so you can see I can just drop them in like this, and they find their place really nicely. And there are no physical buttons on this, right? Um, if we take a look at these, we'll pull them out. You can see on this side right here, you do have a left and right indicator. You can see how the weight is distributed. This is a common design that we've been seeing nowadays. And you can see the directional area of the speakers as well as the contact points that you have right there. I'm going to go ahead and put these on again so you can see what they look. And this is, this is how you put them on. You just turn them around like this. That's it. And because of this, you can use these like all day. I kid you not. You're not feeling any pressure, nothing going in your ear. And if you take a look at me right here, your profile is pretty good, right? So you don't have things sticking out that are really loud. I tend to use only one. So this is how I am. So I'll get, you know, my five to seven hours on one. And then when I need my other one, I put this one on and I take the other one off. I, I enjoy using one earbud at a time with most earbuds. I don't like having them both at the same time, especially because I can extend the battery life. And I use these almost like if they were a boom mic, but just more comfortable and in my ear. From an audio perspective, bass mids and highs are present. I see great music separation. I wouldn't say that these are super immersive uh, because they lack the isolation. 
and, and that happens with all open ear earbuds. Like because you're not isolating yourself, you ha don't have something plugged in where it kind of isolates you. You hear everything that's going on around you, which is great for the athlete. It's great for someone who is visually impaired, someone who suffers from blindness, because you can hear everything that's going on and still use these to either take phone calls, listen to navigation information, um, listen to audiobooks. But you can still be fully aware, bike, run, or if you um, have that visual impairment. Uh, so really flexible. And But what you do get is still bass, mids, and highs. It's not muffled. It's clear. But it's not going to be like you're isolated in a room with the artist listening to music. Uh, that's going to be the difference. But these perform really well uh, for the type of earbuds that they are. I would never compare them to an in-ear model. These also have, like I mentioned, incredible comfort. So if you suffer from some form of tinnitus or basically you have... Um, I'd say um, some form of you know discomfort with wearing ear earbuds a long time. This is going to reduce that because it does not go in your ear. Now, next, next we do a quality, quality test, test of the Eli Sport in a quiet environment. environment. As, As you can see, see by our decibel readings, readings. anywhere, anywhere from, from 29 and 30 decibels of noise. Let's, Let's go, go to the switch. switch. This is what the Eli Sport are going to sound like in a quiet environment. This is a test. One, two, three. This is our test. Let's go ahead and add some wind to the environment. Now, uh, this is what the Eli Sport would sound like with wind in the environment. This is a test. One, two, three. This is our test. Now, we're adding significant noise to the environment, as you can see here, anywhere between 44 and 75 decibels of noise. What we're going to do is we're going to switch, stay quiet, and see how much noise is being canceled, and we'll continue with the audio test. Let's go to switch. This is what the Eli Sport would sound like in a noisy environment. This is a test. One, two, three. This is our test. Now, if you're wondering what they're going to sound like with an infant crying in the background, well, this is what they'll sound like with an infant crying in the background. Now, if you're wondering what they're going to sound like with a dog barking in the background, this is what they'll sound like with a dog barking. Now, if you're wondering what they're going to sound like with the doorbell ringing, well, this is what they'll sound like with the doorbell ringing. So, guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.